lo que le sobra es gente Esta vida no viene con instrucciones Ni te enseña a ser jefe Uno es trajo y el otro y más Son dos hermanos Uno es Alfredo y el otro es Iván What up my divine hustlers? Welcome back to yet another community event giving back to our youth. Now what are we doing here today? We have a fundraiser here today for the Almonte Eastern Little League and we're also doing a meet and greet for Arnold Barboza Jr., myself, and um, Big Sleeps and Martin Rizzo. We are here with Girl, introduce Rachel yourself. Garcia. Yes. What is your favorite Hispanic dish from Taqueria Perivan Inc? <laughs> um, their carnitas, their carnitas are so good. I love the carnitas, I love their um, salsa, everything. They have really, really good dishes. I actually just saw one right now that I'm gonna try. It's the chilaquiles and they look amazing. So I'm really, really excited to try those after I perform. Better than grandma's? Close? Um, I can uh, never say that. <laughs> you can never say better than grandma's. Don't, don't, don't put me on the spot, you're trying to snitch. They looked pretty good, but nothing can be grandma's cooking, but I'm excited to try them. All right, yeah. can we get a message to the youth? Uh, don't ever, ever give up. Don't let anybody stop you from whatever it is that you want to do. And if you believe in yourself more than the whole world, just keep on going because eventually it'll all come into place. Perfect. Yeah. Wraps it up. We'll stay tuned for our next special guest. Peace. Here's our second special guest. Hello. Hello. My name is Martin Rizzo. We're here live in South El Monte. What's your favorite dish from this special spot? My favorite dish here is, uh, are the chilaquiles because I can make chilaquiles. And uh, I don't know, it's just something about chilaquiles that like, it's like, like it's got like that, uh, like that nostalgic, this no nostalgic, I can't even talk, nostalgic. Nostalgic. Nostalgic, <laughs> sorry. Nostalgic. English, English is my second language. That's okay. Nostalgic, no, I, I can't even say in Spanish either, man. <laughs> A nostalgic, uh, like, feeling, taste, you know, chilaquiles, especially with the queso fresco on. Man, so good, dude. It's like the cereal of, like, tortillas, you know what uh, I mean? I was just going to yeah. say that because you're like, it's the only thing I can make. I was like, It's, well, it's like cornflakes, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I'm Mexican-American. I'm like fourth gen. And the uh -huh. only thing I can make professionally is cereal. So when you said that, I was like, oh, it's because it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's basically like uh, chilaquiles are almost like cornflakes, you know, it's like, Pieces of corn, you know, and that's corn what chilaquiles is, yeah. The sauce is your milk, and then. Así es, sí. Ustedes ya saben. Hell yeah. Can we get a message to the youth? The youth, uh, don't do drugs. And uh, stay in school. And uh, listen to your grandma. And yeah, man, just uh, strive to do the best and follow your dreams. And uh, even if it's not what uh, society wants it to be, just as long as you're happy, you know, just do you, yeah. Good words, good words from our chilaquila man over the here. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. Stay tuned for our next guest. Can we get a message to the youth? A message to the youth, man. Um, so I'm here today celebrating a collaboration that I did with Arnold Barboza in um, City of El Monte. Um, you know, something positive, and I just want to share that with art, you know, it helped me save my life and uh, do a lot of nice things and, and, and turn my life into a positive uh, vehicle, you know, to do better things. And uh, my message to the youth is always to, like, work hard, never look back. Like, don't let people uh, discourage you or take away, like, any ideas you may have that you want to, you know, pursue or whatever. Always think um, that everything's possible. You just have to work hard at it. And uh, you could be successful in anything you do. Anything you do. I love it. What inspired your art career? My art career. That's a lo that's a long story. <laughs> Too long. Um, my my art career comes back from since I was a kid. Like growing up in Pico Union in downtown LA, and um, the the early part of my uh, art career was like you know vandalizing walls, tagging, and uh, the gang writings and stuff like that. But. <clears throat> As you could see throughout the years, um, taking it more and more serious and learning how to use it to turn my life around actually uh, helped me become a, a clothing brand and a tattoo artist and a fine art gallery, um, you know, person. But uh, the inspiration comes from the roots of LA, like our culture, um, you know, all the people that grew up in the 70s and 80s and 
remember how all the, all the writings were on the walls in L.A. That inspired me, you know. Um, I just happened to take it and turn it into fine art, you know, and stick to it, yeah. Well, I'm inspired. I'm an aspiring artist, so meeting oh, with nice. you, speaking with you is very inspirational. You inspired the youth. Me right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got a, thank you. We got a community man right here. Keep hustling, everybody. Thank you. I'm here with our special athlete today. Hey, how you doing? Arnold Barbosa Jr., 28-0. What is your favorite dish from this restaurant? Uh, I gotta go with the chilaquiles, the red ones. Oh my, everybody said that. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta put sortido on the side instead of like no rice, you just put the sortido on the side. <laughs> he knows what he wants. <laughs> Can we get a message to the youth? Uh, I just want to tell the youth, man, uh, you know, dreams come true, you know, keep pushing, uh, keep striving, you know, don't, don't listen to anybody, what they say, you know, dreams can come true just as long as you work hard at it. Now, we all know you're a pro boxer. What inspired you to follow your dreams? Uh, to be honest, you know, I just didn't want to, you know, um, I wanted a better, you know, life for my family. Um, you know, um, growing up, you know, of course I wanted to be champion and things change, you know, as you get older. You know, I had my kids and, you know, that I, I started doing, it motivated me for them, you know. So, uh, so like I said, building a future for them and, you know, and, 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 and live so I can have a comfortable life as well. And let's end this out with something that nobody knows about you. What's something that you've never told anybody about yourself? Or something that others may find odd? Man, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I mean, I'm a shoe addict. You know, I, I have like millions of pairs of shoes, you know. Um, man, I don't know. Other than that, I, there's, there's probably a lot I got to think of right now on the spot. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say you listen to Miley Cyrus when you wake oh, up. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I sing in the shower. Act in the shower. <laughs> nah, you're getting red. I know you listen to Miley Cyrus. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we heard it here, folks. I hope you enjoyed the entire event. Everybody is here to give back to the community of El Monte. So make sure to be kind, support each other, and as always, keep hustling. Peace.